Okay, we're gonna start filling the bin up. We have stuff up kicking around. Definitely won't be a heavy bend, that's for sure. That's okay, it's just getting rid of stuff. metal It's got a hole in the side, otherwise I would have kept it.
Not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be something. This is going to be more than my van, so it's a good part. But no record weight. It's okay. But they got weight. Stuff's not light. Slippery, so deck is still oily. The bottom of my bin is still oily. The tranny food. I'm going to load the rest of that in there. Hold on. Hmm. Put a metal pl uh, aluminum plate here on the line. Hmm, can't get half of them out.
There's the plates in there. Aluminum, look at this. Well, it looks like aluminum. Okay, we're going to stick some of the uh, bigger metals. Bigger metals. Well, it's a two-hander. Oh. oh, it's heavy. These are cast, I believe. Partly cast, partly aluminum. Or steel. Probably like 140, 150 pounds probably this. Torque converter is probably 50, 60 pounds alone.
Okay, we're gonna continue. We got the keys here. Should be, should be brass. Came for that job. All greasy. Here's a TD fob. Rust. This fob here is, looks like it's copper actually. Copper coming through. Yeah, this is plating. This pot metal. To the drill over here. So tires can go there. I'm gonna let the tires can go there too. Most of bottles in here. Just do that another time. We're stripping, but it's strippable.
Okay. It should be brass. Yeah, brass. Get a little clip here, see that? It's really rusty. Okay. See your mess here. Control never came out. Another clip. That's screwed. Okay, tin. And then we want to get this valve off here. Here, the cutter. Brass. Throw in the steel. It's heavy. We have this here. I saw some tires on there last night uh, that would fit my van. You know, old tires. It said fifty dollars for four. So I said, okay, uh, I'm interested in the tires. Then they said, text me back to say, oh, the price is wrong. See, people are just a joke on there. They're talking marketplace. Total joke. So I told them they're only good for seven years. I can't sell them after that, I said, in theory. Yeah, come on. It's always something that wants to... It's so rusty, that's a problem. Brass valve. Another couple brass valves here. That's so I have actually another nut here too. Brass valve here. Oh, little brass valves on this thing. Side book. Okay, so 
to knock this nut off here. Actually, another one here. So a little piece of uh, cast here. You know, whatever. A little bit here, a little bit there. But see, if you look at the brass, see how it's starting to shape up? Brass is everywhere. It seems to be like very plentiful. You want to look for it, you know? You start looking for it and. It looks like a computer or something here. Maybe for a motorcycle because the guy repaired motorcycles. Hmm. Okay, we'll just go do side ones here. actually it's supposed to like a computer what is it An extension I'm not sure if it's a computer from motorcycle or I would have thought they'd be like epoxy dips or something the board is nice see chips in the back it's like the black box if it's, if it's for a motorcycle it looks like almost like a internet kind of router almost it's got an antenna there hmm not sure on that one here's something similar to another box of some sort same place it came from Some of this wire out of here. That's not the way it is. Extra weight. We're taking apart at less weight. Okay, we're gonna see what's in that box there. Looks like alarm box actually for a car. There's something to do. Another black box. This thing is. Steel. So another kind of black box system here. It says the rear. Integrations module. Hmm. Some do with some sort of module. T 
Tiak. Just came for that uh, demo job too. Warehouse. Transformer is kind of uh, hard to get off because you need something to hold one side. Okay, that screws here too, more. Nice little block here. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be at least a pound. Yeah, one pound exactly. And then these ones here, these little coils, I like to just pop them up. I cut, cut these out all the time. It's copper right there, see? It's just a low grade board. Bit of a pain to get that off. <clears throat> wasn't too bad but sometimes they're a pain to get out these, these ones
So there's Transformer. See, 3.6. They were paying 65 cents a pound for those before. So that's like two bucks. It's probably not even two dollars of copper here, right? So I say some things you might have to sell the way they are. You just have to do the math on your stuff, right? Okay. You know, the techniques here. DVD player. Really nothing in it. Wow, very poor. Hmm. Really not that good. The yeah, Halloween's come up tomorrow. Um, they ban ha they can't have um, fireworks. They ban them all over the place, which is dumb. So if you light fireworks, so you can get a fine, right? I mean, there'll always be fireworks, but it's just the stupid laws. The warehouse I did, the guy, neighbor guy told me it was full of scrap metal. They are taking scrap metal out of there for, so, for forever. The guy was like a hoarder. Had so much crap in there, car parts and too bad. All gone. So what are we look, working on here? What is this? On a DVD, the Shiba. more like it's that's more like it look at that it's beautiful that's what I call a nice looking board gold corner chip wow very nice Board's not really nothing great, but still a green board. This one over here. It's 
spool. DVD in here, or CD or whatever it is. Let's see what it is. Congo to Cuba. Never heard of it. Congo to Cuba. Nice little chip here. Okay, that's done. Okay, I'm gonna cut this down. stuff it's a little bit smaller I think it's really tough stuff HMS for sure oh super heavy oh yeah 50 pounds easy each one It might be a problem. Okay, I'm gonna cut the next one. Wow, tough. From the dryer control panel. Let's see what's inside it. This is a bit of a green board. Mm 
Hmm. It's stuck in the glove. Well, okay, we're going to open a slate here. I don't think there's a proper ballast in here, but... Feels kind of light. Yeah, the guy rejected this thing. Well, obviously, because it's got the uh, battery inside it, but it's got a battery, so deal with it later. Slightly stainless. It's not brass. Electronic, but I want to get the wire, so that's why I kind of saved it just for the wire. I knew for ballast it was way too late. The wire. Not too bad. See, I'm gonna get these blenders done so I can sell the mortars. I'm gonna sell them as is, just because if you do the math, they, they pay this. These stores still the same. You don't make any anymore. Nice cast.
just not. Let's take it off from here. Ah, come on, why is it so tight? So one more pile. Doesn't want to come apart. So stay. Stay together. So, got a couple things here. Oh, yeah, nice. Wow, whatever, this is really heavy. Obviously, a power supply of some sort. 20 pounds for satellite dish arm. machine a little bit HMS Like, kind of like a metal, but it could be not. Just throw the garbage after. Come cast off a garage door opener or the garage door lobe system. Not bad. So, my other GoPro was dead. I'm not sure it died on me. My old GoPro. Charged it. it won't start now. I charged it last night and it wouldn't start, so that means I don't know, battery died or something. Or the new GoPro, like I say, it's working, but it's a little finicky when the battery gets a little low, it, it won't really sh it shuts off, but it doesn't give you the warning sign, so you don't know if it's off or not. So, anyways, uh, stuck to one GoPro. Um, so I, I stripped a whole bunch of blenders actually, stripped about six or seven blenders off camera. So that wasn't too bad. I think I'm gonna sell the motors as is because you gotta look at it, it's, it's maybe a quarter, there's probably not even a quarter of a pound of, of copper that you can, you can recover, but the rotor part is copper, but I always sell it dirty. So I might as well sell everything dirty, the whole, 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 uh, the whole bracket and everything. With the metal, the bracket, the rotor, and the windings, right? Uh, weighs some way up to two pounds. Most of them are about a pound and a half, but I'm um, getting uh, close to 50 cents a pound on good times, right? That's about 75 cents to two dollar. No, 75 cents two dollars. So I don't know. Sometimes I say, I mean, um, I could strip them, right? I'm saying, but I'm, I'm not gonna see if I sell the whole buckets. The whole buckets were say. 50 pounds and I'm getting 20 almost $25 for the buckets there's, there's no $25 in copper in there if you know what I mean because the rotors they're really hard to clean the rotors you have you, a lot of guys do is burn them if you burn the rotors well it creates a lot of pollution so we can't burn that kind of stuff around here anyways we're gonna just cruise a little bit if not that might be it for the video but I just want to had a hunch there's a couple things I know I picked the dishwasher up here the one I saw earlier today, dishwasher, and then I turned a corner and I saw that stuff on the side of the road. I thought, 